Hey, what's up? I'm Ga. Uh, this is Seven Mortal Sins. Uh, originally, I wasn't gonna make a video today um, because this was, you know, just supposed to be like a nothing update. Um, you know, User Joy is kind of on this um, like two week cycle now. Uh, but then we got an update this morning, and uh, some things happened. So, right now I'm on the official site uh, that has like all the updates and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's look at what we're supposed to have in the game, right? Okay, so we got some compensation for the maintenance. Uh, there's supposed to be a blood packed banner. Um, for some of these characters. I think Chino is also included in that. Uh, the new gacha, paint it, comma, green. <clears throat> not sure why the comma's there, but sure, why not? Uh, apparently it's St. Patrick's Day themed, so we have a login bonus for that. Uh, Keys in a Tower is back. Um, Garden of Mystery is back. And then here is the juice, the meat. Um, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this here, but this this text. Um, so it says, what's new? We have legendary rare soul mirrors, and I, w I will get into that in just a minute. Don't you guys worry about that. Um, and then there's supposed to be something called the horror maze and fearless talisman, a wish gotcha, um, interesting infinity summon wheel of fortune new battle pass and a co-op quest so let's jump into the game and see what of that we actually got like what what, what did we actually get well um so we the st patrick's day thing is here sure 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 um uh you know, the Riot of Blood, uh, or, sorry, Contract of Blood, Blood Pact for uh, some of the characters. We got the St. Patrick's Day banner. Um, where's the rest of it? What else were they talking about? Soul Mirrors? Legendary Rear? Oh, so Fuse. Look at this, Fuse. You can take your uh, Ultra Rare Soul Mirrors and fuse them together and you will get a legendary rare soul mirror out of this. It consumes all of these. Uh, if you use um, like three different slots, you will just get one random. Uh, but if you use three of the same slot, you will get a legendary rare uh, slot for you know the same one that you put in. Um, now, the thing about legendary rare soul mirrors is they have very wide stat variance, I guess you can call it, right? Um, simply put, a legendary rare soul mirror is not guaranteed to be better than an ultra rare. So they have low rolls and high rolls. Like at the low roll, they're gonna be about as good as a high rolled ultra rare soul mirror. So they're not gonna be much improvement whatsoever at all. Um, but on the high end, they're gonna be significantly better. And the trade off, I guess, for that is they cost a ridiculous amount of resources to upgrade one legendary rare soul mirror from level zero to plus 15 is going to take a hundred and fifty thousand um, dust. Hundred and fifty thousand would normally have gotten you a full set of ultra rare soul mirrors to plus 15. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse these just so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Um, it does cost some gold right off the bat, so, okay, just like I said, I got my one piece from that same slot. Um, now we're going to upgrade it. Let's just take it up to plus 15 so you guys can see the resource cost. Look at this, 150,000 of this soul essence here. And then on top of that, it's going to take these uh, new enchanted crystal 
things. How you get these is by dismantling soul mirrors. So you get this by dismantling uh, SR soul mirrors, you get this by dismantling UR soul mirrors, and you get this by dismantling LR soul mirrors. So in order to upgrade an LR soul mirror, you will have to dismantle three LR soul mirrors on top of nine UR soul mirrors and 15 um, SR soul mirrors, as well as collect 150,000 dust. And what is this? Like almost five million gold? Like the, the resource cost for this is incredibly extreme. And if you look at this, this is only going uh, to 56 flat defense. All right, so let's see if I can find another uh, flat defense piece. If I have one, uh, that would be on a blue slot. Do I have any blues, any blues? Okay, okay. So if we took this up to plus 15, look at this, 55 flat defense versus, what was this, 56? I think so. UR was 55. Ooh, we get one more point of defense for triple the cost of our soul essence. And yeah, terrible. Absolutely just terrible. Um, yeah, oh, and then on top of that, I wanna show you guys something else here as well. So I have these three that I can fuse, and these are Soul Mirror Pluses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse these. I'm gonna upgrade. Okay. If you look up at the top, this is a different material. Straight up a different material. You have to get these by dismantling plus Soul Mirrors. See right here how it says Soul Mirror Plus? And this one right here is just a regular soul mirror. Mm, although it says plus for some reason. Don't know why, but look, they use, they use different materials. So look, soul mirror, soul mirror plus. Uses different materials. And Okay, so let's upgrade this to plus 15. So 16% defense versus, uh, do I have another flat D or defense percent. Okay. So the LR one was 16%. This is 14%. We get two, two more percent defense for triple the cost. Like this, this is like, hmm. Hmm, kind of, kind of scammy. Um, like, honestly, you guys, I would completely just ignore this system for right now uh, until you are ready to like completely like min-max uh, your characters. Like, and only, only do this for like one or two of your absolute most favorite uh, characters, like your your best characters. Like, this is not something you're going to have the resources to do for every single character. Like this is like Omega Giga Whale territory here. It's absolutely just, holy crap. Um, just the amount of resources that you have to put into this for um, luck and marginal gains are what are most likely going to be marginal gains because you have no way to influence what stats you get out of these or how well that they roll. Um, yeah, just just ignore this whole system for now. There's no reason we should have got this. Like they they could have given us four star uh, soul mirrors. You know, soul mirrors for our four star cast. They could have brought the voices back. They could have given us um, where is it? They could have given us abyss war. They could have uh, fleshed out like all the uh, ex evolutions like. Here, um, so, uh, let's see here, who doesn't have theirs? Um, like, I don't think OG Metatron 
has her EX evolution. Uh, Uriel doesn't have her EX evolution. Asmodeus, where's her EX evolution at? Like, there's so many more things that they could have done, that they could have added right now. But instead, we we got legendary rare soul mirrors. And, like, that whole upgrading system um, is just incredibly tedious, incredibly resource-hungry. Um, is it's just ridiculous, man. Like, honestly. Um, but they did say they upgraded, or they made the star shard upgrading menu better I I'm not really seeing it it looks the same uh, that it always has I mean I guess I don't know you guys notice a difference with that um and then like all the other stuff that they said that was new in the update like, there's like a wish gotcha, there's like an infinity summon, um, there's a co-op event. Where's that stuff at? Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, and then, uh, Limbo Pass. They said we got new Limbo Pass. Like, you can claim the first reward, um, but the quests are locked. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Um, I feel like there's a lot missing here. Um, and then on top of that, something else I wanted to rant a little bit about is um, these are some of the worst packs I've ever seen. <laughs> Just straight up, like a uh, hundred dollars gets you a little over 3,000 gems and 45 scrolls. So, that is effectively seven and a half ten poles, which is worse than what the old $100 pack used to be. It used to be 85 um, scrolls, uh, which is eight and a half, so they just took away um, 10 of your, your poles right here. Uh, and then like, what? These, these packs are so bad. I'll, I'll tell you straight up guys, if you are paying more than $10 per 10 pull, you are getting ripped off. All right. Um, for whatever reason, UserJoy values their in-game currency more than real money, real currency. That could be anything, um, <laughs> literally anything. Uh, and while we're on that note, straight up to or uh, shout outs to um, Tiberium over on the Discord for spending uh, $760 on this um, Blood Pact banner and still whiffing the Blood Pact that he wanted. <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't laugh. If you are financially stable and you're well off and you can afford to do it, go for it. Personally, I'd rather go buy a boat, you know, uh, you know, sit on there and have like a nice little couch. You can get like a cooler full of my favorite drinks and beverages. And, uh, you know, I can just go out into the middle of the lake and play Seven Mortal Sins. And, you know, just hit up Discord, be like, guess what, uh, guess what, bitches? I'm in the middle of the lake. I'm on my fucking boat playing Seven Mortal Sins. What are you guys doing? Sitting at home? Cool. I'm on a boat. Or like, ugh, you can get like an RV, take it out to the middle of the woods, get like a satellite, right? Um, so that you can still have like Wi-Fi and stuff right there. Get like a sick LAN uh, gaming setup. Get your boys go out there and be like, yeah, me and my boys are going out to the woods uh, this weekend. And people are like, oh, are you going camping? Fuck no, we're playing games. <laughs> and like, ugh, like. Man, I could go get, like, a coffee table-sized tablet. Play Seven Mortal Sins on that. But, you know what? You do you. It's your money. It's cool. It's cool. It's your money. Um, just realize that whenever end of service hits, and it will, 
uh, whether it's a year or a month or anywhere shorter or longer than that. Everything you have on this game is going to be lost to the void. It'll be gone. Like, it's cool, you got to enjoy your time um, with the characters while you had them. But as soon as the service shuts down for the game, you have nothing. Nothing but memories. Like, I could go buy a 36-foot TV that I'd have to sit in my neighbor's house to watch. <laughs> like, instead of wailing on a gacha game. Um, like, I, I just quit wailing, like... Ugh. I'm paying off, like, debts? You know, saving up, I'm, I'm probably gonna be moving into a new house within the next year. Um, getting my credit score all cleaned up. And, like, not having the feeling of being tied down by a gacha game or just something like this, uh, a gambling addiction, whatever you want to call it, uh, is very freeing. Um, just writing it out as free to play, getting what I get, having fun with what I have. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool. I think it is honestly the best way to enjoy this game in particular. Simply because these packs are straight up garbage. Like, if if these were a little bit better priced, if if this right here was a legendary rare blood pact at the end of this banner instead of fucking essence, I could justify it. I'd be like, okay, cool. You know what? You want to have some fancy stuff, you want to have some cracked out characters, you want to enjoy the game, awesome. Go for it. Do it. But, you have to sell your leg, your kidney, you gotta kneecap yourself, you gotta go $2,500 in debt uh, just to have something nice. And I... <sighs> I'm not about that. At all. At all. At all. At all. <sighs> yeah, like, the story packs and the limbo pass, that's it. Like, if you want to support the game, if you want to view this as, like, a monthly kind of subscription, kind of like Nitro or Amazon Prime, go for it. Like, that is the best way, the safest way to enjoy a game like this. But if you find yourself getting desperate and you're like dumping hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars and you can't financially afford it because you're not financially stable, shut the game off. Shut it off. Go do something else. So once you get desperate, that's how you end up $2,500 in debt. <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to rant or shame anybody who is pulling for their, wa their waifus or pulling for things that they like. Um, like, I, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Like, I had to live with that myself uh, at one point. Um, because uh, some people thought that, you know, spending money on games was a stupid idea and I was catching a bunch of shit for that. Um, so I don't condone that kind of behavior at all. Uh, you know, it's your money. If you're having fun, awesome. If you're financially stable, if you're able to take care of yourself, awesome. Do it. Go for it. Uh, but goddamn, user joy is not helping with these shit packs, like at all. Like this actually is, I would say, a fairly decent deal. Um, you're spending 50 bucks for 55 scrolls. That's a little bit less than a dollar per scroll. Um, and like I said, you know, if you're spending more than $10 for 10 pulls, you're getting ripped off. Uh, this doesn't seem like a rip off. This one does, and this one definitely does. Um, but this is probably the best paid pack that we have right now. Trash, 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 trash. Um, also incredibly mediocre. 
Uh, and then, where's the rest of the content you guys said was in the update? Where is it? You guys just gave us legendary rare soul mirrors and then called it good. It's like giving a child a hand grenade. Stop it. Like, give us... Give us, like, some new content. Like, there was new content promised in this update. Where is that? Like, other than legendary rare soul mirrors. Give me Asmodeus stuff. I want more Asmodeus in my life. I need... I need stuff for her. I don't need... You know, Irish rerun stuff. Like, I need, I need mirrors. I need mirrors for my as my Asmodeus. I need mirrors for my Witch Maman. I need mirrors for this Asmodeus. And Super Evolution. Where is my Super Evolution for OG? Like, I want them to expand on uh, making characters a little bit better rather than giving us whale territory um, systems here. Um, speaking of whale territory systems, avoid blood packs. Until they add a guaranteed way to get legend or legendary rare blood packs, just avoid them. Just avoid them. Pretend they don't exist. Pretend these don't exist. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it, it, there's not much to this update, like, honestly. Um, I just wanted to rant a little bit on uh, some stuff, because it feels like the packs are getting worse. I don't know why they're nerfing them. Um, the banners just feel like they're stalling. Um, and the upgrades and new stuff that we do get just feel like massive whale bait. Uh, it, it just seems like they're getting greedy for money um, and maybe starting to feel the pressure of uh, a lot of people quitting, especially like the big whales, so they're trying to get more people to spend. And on another negative note, I'm, I'm so sorry that I've been completely all over the place. My brain is completely scattered with all these ranting thoughts, so it, it's just been kind of a stream of consciousness. Um, but, um, Vortex of Torment, normally be right here. Uh, I have heard that our Vortex of Torment is getting nerfed uh, as far as like rewards and stuff go. Uh, I know Japan and Taiwan also had to deal with a nerfed Vortex of Torment, but eventually they got the old one back. So I'm hoping that, you know, our Vortex being nerfed doesn't last too long. Um, if it uh, even comes around at all. I'm hoping they just don't touch the Vortex uh, because that's been like one of the biggest and best ways to get uh, character upgrades. So, hear me user joy, leave Vortex alone. Give me Asmo. And also release Ayana, please, for Christ's sake. You guys are jumping around all the character releases and all the system releases, like, you, it literally just feels like they're throwing darts at a board uh, to determine what comes out next, but, um, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll actually get some of the stuff they were talking about in their patch notes um, next week, next update. Maybe it'll be super cool. Um, we have first year anniversary coming up. Personally, I've set the bar incredibly low. Um, because I haven't been super impressed lately with everything that's been coming out. Um, but I'm really hoping we get something super cool, like maybe, you know, give us the ability to pick any one character from the game. Give us, like, the chance to pick up soul mirrors for any character. Give us, you know, give us some, like, real legitimate goodies. We've been playing this game for a year. The game has been out for a year. Um, I know there's some newer people coming in that I've been seeing, um, so I know you guys haven't been playing it for a year, but there are players that have stuck around this entire time, and user joy needs to show its appreciation for its player base. If they do this very poorly, there's going to be a mass exodus of players. A lot of people are going to quit if anniversary is not absolutely on point, okay? 
And I think that's all I have to say at the moment. Wore myself out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.